If you want to buy any FIFA 18 Ultimate Team coins, check out MuleFactory.com. They have cheap prices, 24-7 support, and a five-minute delivery time on their orders. Make sure to use my discount code IHAS5 when you do check out. Watch to the end to see an investment you should make right now. What is up? Welcome back to a brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys an investing method which will work and you will 100% make profit. So if you want more investments, training tips, all of that stuff, make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. Can we shoot for over 500 likes on this video? So this investing is to do with the squad builder challenges and in particular, the league SBC. So as you guys know, there is a league squad builder challenge. I think they come out every couple of weeks or so and for a different league. So we have the Mexican league, the Liga Loss, we have the Russian league and the Super League. So the leagues we can be expecting is every league in the, well, every major league. So we'll have the Premier League, the Bundesliga, the La Liga Santander, Calcio A, and Ligue 1. And also I think they've had uh, the Erders V. And I can't remember the other leagues from last year. But basically, these SBCs, all they require is just a team from every single different club. So the investments are really that simple. All you have to do is just buy a squad for each club in whatever league you're, gonna, you're going to pick. So I think one of the like recent, well, one of the newer ones which would come out would probably be the Italian league. So if we just take a look, usually the most expensive teams, or well, like the ones which go up the most, are the first sort of uh, clubs in that league. So the first club we have Atlanta here, and if we take a look, you can literally buy most of these players for very very cheap. I know in this account I don't know how much money I've invested in most in my team. But all you need to do is literally build a squad from every single club in the league or basically just the main clubs. Rating wise, I would recommend you just go with a gold team. So for example, if I want to build a squad from Atlanta, first of all, we'll start off with a goalkeeper. It, you don't even have to search up the place. You literally search keeper. We'll pick up this guy. He will be my keeper. I know someone's BS to that. Okay, he's actually quite expensive. That could have been a good snipe. So we'd pick up our keeper for 600 coins. Next up, we would go into the defense we'd go you could just do search defender and then you just hit search so then we'd pick up the defender so we pick up Caljar and Talio in our center back positions then you could pick up a right back or a left back a couple midfielders and you do this with basically I would say the first club in each league goes up the most but even to some of those big leagues so uh, big teams for example that Suarez SBC card from La Liga you needed like a Barca squad this is the wrong league. You needed a Barca squad with like 80, I think it was like an 84, 85 rating, which costed a lot. And also a Real Madrid squad. So those went for like 100k each. The Atletico Madrid squad as well was worth a lot. So if you invest in these cards now, before these SPC comes out, you're not really risking anything because you're just buying, like for example, if I'm going with the Italian league, I'm just buying some non-rare gold cards. Nothing too special about them. But then once the SPC does come out, those prices will rise quite a bit. So if I take one of the SPCs which you've already had, probably one of the better ones is actually the Russian League one with this Promise card, 92 pace. You get 22,000 coins as well. So if we look at the Russian League and just go for the first club and then we have a look at the prices of those cards. So here we go over, Russian League. Here we have it, the Russian League. The first club is Akmat or whatever. And if we take a look, say we just want to build like some gold cards from that squad. They've gone up to about 600 coins. He is like the cheapest gold card on there. I know these haven't risen too much. That's just because no one really is doing the Russian League. But this is where the investments come in handy. So yesterday, if you did not know, I did a video. There was an SVC which came out. And it was the Dracula's 11 Squad Build Challenge. Why can't I view the requirements? Who knows? But the requirements for that were two plays from Villarreal. And two players from some other Spanish team. It was like Andale or something. It was in like the second league for the Spanish league. This squad here, Albate or however I'm saying that league. So imagine, well I know this isn't in the major league. But imagine you invested in some Valencia players for the Spanish league SBC. You would have made profit because they've all risen up. Like we've got this random silver guy going for 1.2k. The cheapest are like 1.2 thousand coins of any Villarreal player. So all you would really, a uh, Valencia player, not Villarreal. So all you'd need to do, imagine you just invested in this league just ages ago. And then you notice, oh, this, these players are used in a squad builder challenge. You can literally list up all of these players and make a lot of profit. So I wouldn't really recommend this if you don't have too many coins. But imagine you're a player, you've got like 400,000 coins plus, just sat there and you want to make some like safe investments. Just build squads pretty much 
of players in a different league. Maybe you can go for one club or just basically just have a lot of players in your club. For example, so this squad, it was in the Liga 2, this one, Akbata, Bipne, or however I'm saying that. All of these cards are like 5,000, 6,000 coins. Imagine you had them in your club. I think I actually might have some in my club. I'm going to quickly check because you can make a lot of profit if you just notice those cards from an SBC have actually been there. So this guy here, I have a Rodeo in my club. His minimum buy now, you can see 9.4 thousand coins for this card. So I can list him up for 9k and he's literally just been sat in my club. But imagine you invested in him for 400 coins, 300 coins. When an SBC comes out, the league ones, they'll probably double in price maybe. But it's just like these other random SBCs, the Halloween ones, especially since we'll probably be getting more of these. I'm not sure how they're choosing the clubs, but it would basically, they pick two teams. You need a couple players from each squad. And there's a kit SBC coming out soon as well with that. If you just have players from different clubs in your club, basically anyone, I would stick to like the main leagues because they will 100% be used in the league SBCs. But again, these clubs could come up in the marquee matchup. For example, if you invested in the French league, so you had a PSG team and a Marseille team, you could sell those players because they're used in the marquee matchups. Or if they get used, for example, if you invest in Premier League, player of the month, they will get used in that. So imagine next player of the month, we get like an Aguero card and you invested in a Man City team, you'll make profit that way. So these investments can be long term, but you can make a lot of profit and there isn't really much risk. You see we've sold on our Rodeo cards for 9,000 coins. It's really stupid how much SBCs can change the market. But it's quite simple, the method. Just build a squad from like one of the main leagues, uh, like preparing for the league SBC, but then check every time there's a brand new squad builder challenge in case the team you've built is actually required in one of them because those players' prices will rise up in the future. Okay, so as I was saying earlier, about we had the Dracula's 11 squad builder challenge where basically it required a like, couple players from this squad because the actual badge of the player, well of the club, looks a bit like spooky, a bit Halloween fitting. So it sort of looks like a bat. We also had in the actual La Liga, it was the Valencia, and you can see at the top of the Valencia badge, there is a bat. So an investment you should make right now is from the Italian league and it is this club here. Benevito because on the badge they have a witch on a broomstick so right now you can see the cards have already risen up a bit they're about 2,000 coins but EA surely they're gonna have this team in the squad builder challenge literally if you're gonna pick a badge which fits Halloween this has a witch on it in the middle of the badge on a broomstick like surely it has to be the squad so right now you can see the players they're about 1.5 okay they've gone up quite a bit they're about 1.9 thousand coins. So I'm going to pick up a couple cards just to be safe for when I actually do the squad builder challenge. For example, like you don't have to invest to sell on to make a profit. But imagine you want to do this SPC later, but you don't have to pay 6k for cards from this club. Pick up two cards now because the requirement will be two cards from this club. And then you'll be able to do the SPC completely fine and easy. But again, it's badges which look like they're fitting Halloween. So with like a witch or a bat or I don't know, a pumpkin. I'm not really sure which other badges would sort of fit the Halloween theme. But again, in the comment section down below, drop a comment if you like know any team's badges which do fit this Halloween. But this is another one I'd say, Benevito in the Italian League. This should probably be used in the SBC. It might be tonight. Or tomorrow the scream event is going on for a couple of weeks i believe hopefully ea do daily squad builder challenges which i will show you guys how to complete for as cheap as possible but on that note thank you guys for watching i hope you did enjoy this video if you want more investment videos make sure to drop a like on this one so i can see the support on this or do you want sniping filters training methods and then also what sort of coins are you guys on like what sort of uh, budget training methods do you want do you want low budget like maybe 10k or less do you want 10k to 100k or do you guys have a lot of coins? Do you want like 250k plus? Train to 1 million again. I should be back. I don't know. Probably maybe tomorrow or on Monday. Because tomorrow will be the top 5 trades of the week. So make sure to send in your trades for that video. But on that note. Thank you for watching. I hope you did enjoy. I'm actually off school next week as well. So I will try and double upload every single day. Fingers crossed. So a lot of content should be coming very very soon. Thank you for watching again. Hope you did enjoy. And I'll see you on my next video. Don't show up to my show if you've got no energy. Energy.
energy. Loud at you.